good afternoon we will consider tutorial on anova so last class what you have seen you have seen that uh, we consider two tutorials one one way anova another one two way anova and two, we have added now one more tutorial on three way anova we have fully completed one way anova partially completed two way anova and we have not completed three way anova so now i will complete first the two way anova and then we will go for three way anova let us come to the problem for two way anova as i told you that the issue is safety behavior of a company across different departments and different age groups we have considered three departments a1 a2 a3 and three age groups less than 30 years of age 30 to 45 years of age and greater than 45 years of age this table shows the different data points collected across departments and groups for example in the first cell 68 65 and 70 data values these data points are obtained for the combination a1 and b1 similarly for a1 b2 a1 b3 like a2 b1 and finally a3 b3 so there are three um, samples so in the sense that the size of the sample for each combination is 3 and totality in total there are 27 observations and across each department there are 9 observations across each age group there are 9 observations and our uh, objectives are do the different departments differ in their safety behavior do the people in different age group differ in their safety behavior and are there relationship between departments and age groups so we have discussed this and uh, we have seen this table and also we have discussed that what are the different uh, way the computational formulas for um, for computation of sst and its subcategories from sources of variation point of view so i think all of you know at this point in time that our total sum square is sum square total is divided into sum square factor a sum square factor b then sum square factor a b means interaction a b plus sum square error so we have we have divided in this manner and we have also seen that the degree of freedom is n minus 1 for total sum square for ssa it is l minus 1 for ssb it is our m minus 1 for SSAB it is L minus 1, M minus 1 and for SSE this is uh, LM into N minus 1. So, that we have already seen. So, ultimately for the example given there are total I think 27 observations minus 1. So, that is 26 this equal to there are three departments so 3 minus 1 equal to 2 plus 3 edge groups that also 2 plus 2 cross 2 that is 4 and a rest will be this l is 3 into 3 into 2 that is 18 so if you add this 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 18 that will lead to 26 Okay. And also you have used a, the formula computational formula for SST and SSB, SSA all those things uh, using uh, this formulation that first you compute the grand mean then individual uh, factors level mean, factor B levels mean and the combination um, these are all total. So, first grand total then factor a level totals b level totals and a b that interaction so total then 
following this equation you are getting SST, SSA, SSB, SS subtotal then finally, you are getting SSAB using this equation and this is the formulation final SSE and then what we have done we have also seen that the ANOVA table this is the ANOVA table sources of variation different values then degrees of freedom and you found out that 87.82 this is the MS for factor A for factor B it is 139.82 for factor the interaction A and B that is 55.09 and SSE 19.48 and then the F statistic values are for factor A 4.51, factor B 7.18, factor A interaction A B that is 2.83 and these are the probability values which we got from the F table. Now, what is the degrees of freedom for this? For this degrees of freedom is numerator degrees of freedom is 2 and denominator degrees of freedom is 18. For the second one also numerator degrees of freedom 2, denominator degrees of freedom 18 and for A B numerator degrees of freedom is 4 and denominator degrees of freedom 18. Okay. So, all cases this F then we found out if some value you got suppose this one is this suppose f 2 18 if this is 4.51 then this probability value is this one is 0 0.026 this is the meaning. So, two way you can do it one is you fix one alpha value and then find out that what will be the f value for that alpha suppose if you take f 2 18 0 0.05 you will get certain value definitely that value will be that value will be less than this value that is 4.51. So, the first factor contribution is there and which, which is much lower than 0 0.05 significant level second factor also same, but third factor which is the interaction factor it has slight it is slightly more than uh, the requirement that is 0 0.05 that is 5 percent probability level, but it can consider it significant. Okay. So, there are differences across age groups, there are differences across departments and interaction is significant at 5.6 percent probability level. Then I told you we also discussed this that I told you that how do you estimate the parameters. These parameters are written clearly here these are the parameters. So, I am writing once more that x i l m equal to mu plus mu l minus mu plus mu m minus mu plus mu l m minus mu l minus mu m plus mu then plus x i l m minus mu l m and which so that what does it signify then this is nothing but the grand mean this one is tau l then this one will be beta m. So, grand mean tau l beta m and then tau beta l m this one plus epsilon i l and they are uh, sample this is population from population. So, their sample counterpart. So, if we find out x i l m it will be we have written like this g bar that is the grand mean bar plus we say a l bar minus g bar grand mean bar plus we say b m bar minus g bar plus we say that a b l m bar minus a l bar minus b l bar b m bar not b l a l b m bar minus a l bar minus b m bar plus g bar plus x i l m minus a b l m bar. So, this is in the sample domain. So, our that means the estimate of mu is g bar estimate of tau l is 
we say al bar minus g bar estimate of beta m is again b m bar minus g bar then estimate of tau beta l m that total cap this one is your a b bar that l m or we can give a bracket here ok a b bar l m minus a l bar minus b m bar plus g bar and your error portion i l m cap which is x i l m minus a b again you make a bracket here a b bar l m. So, these are the this is parameter estimates of parameter different parameters and now you see then uh, what will be your um, that predicted value of x i l m i l m. So, everything will remain except the error term. So, this one. So, this will be g bar plus a bar a l bar minus g bar plus b m bar minus g bar plus a b bar l m minus a l bar minus b m bar plus g bar. So, what will happen here you see this few things will be cancelled out g bar g bar will cancel out ok. Now, one more g bar is there g bar and this g bar will be cancelled out a l bar plus a l bar minus will cancel out b m bar plus b m bar minus will cancel out. So, ultimately what will remain then this is nothing but a b bar l m this is the predicted value correct. So, if I go back now, so what will be the predicted value for each of the cell what is the average in this cell that will be predicted value for first three quantities in the second cell the average of this will be the predicted value for all three third cell like this. So, every three observations having the same predicted value ok. So, now let us see this final one what we have this is what is all the values computed. So, a l bar I said we will we'll calculate something more with this a l a 1 bar. So, a 1 bar equal to 71.56 this is computed. Now, a 2 bar is 77.22 and a 3 bar is 71.89. What is our g bar? g bar is 73.56 g bar is this. Suppose you want to find out that you are interested to find out tau l bar then what you will do this minus your thing will be 71.56 minus 73.56 what will be the value this will be minus 2. So, the what does it mean that the a 1 effect department 1 effect is minus 2 that is with respect to the average we are talking about Then second one will be 77.22 minus 73.56. 5, 6 what will be the value here 77.22 73.56 6 again 6 so this will be 4 so 3.66 and third one will be 71.89 minus 73.56 so 71.89 73.56 so 3 then another 3 then this will be what I think just opposite this is smaller 71.89 then 7 
So, this will be 8 9, 9 plus 6 15, 2 1 minus 1 1.67. Now, you add this, this is 0, this 6 and 7 there is some rounding error otherwise this quantity will be 0 and I think you can remember that I say that tau L L equal to 1 to capital L this will become 0. So, the same thing will prevail for beta. So, what will happen? What will be your beta 1? Okay. So, first we will find out B 1, B 2 and B 3. See what is what is your B 1 bar, B 1 bar little like this, B 1 bar is 70.11, what is your B 2 bar? 77.89, what is your B 3 bar? 72.67, G same for this case also. So, then we want to find out beta 1 that is the cap first one, so 70.11 minus G that is 73.56. What will be the value here? 73.56, 70.11. So, it will be 5, then 4, then 3. I think this is minus 3.45. What will be beta 2 value? Beta 2 value will be 77.89 minus 73.56. So, you calculate so 77.89, 73.56, then 3, 3, 3, I think 4. So, 4.33. Similarly, beta 3 cap will be 72.67 minus 73.56. So, it will be 73.56, 72.67. So, 9, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 8, 15, I think minus 0, this will be this, then ultimately this will be minus 0 0.89. Again, this sum will be beta m, m equal to 1 to capital M, this will be 0. Here our capital M is 3, here capital L is also 3. So, if this is the case, then I think in, in one of the example I show you that, suppose the age effect you want to plot, age effect this side, suppose this is for A1, this is A2 and A3, then what is your A1 value? A1 value is minus 2. So, A1 is, suppose if I go like this, this is minus 2, minus 2 and A2 is 3.66. So, 1, 2, 3.66 somewhere here and one minus 1 1.67, 1.67, this will be somewhere here. Similarly, this is all, these are all this is what is tau L estimate and these are the, this is A. So, for A 1, A 2, A 3. Similarly, you require to find out also this type of diagram is better to give for easy understanding. So, what is our beta 1 minus 3.45? So, 1, 2, 3 like this. So, minus 3.45 will be somewhere here that is beta 1 or here it is for B 1. So, write B 1. Then second one is 4.33, 1, 2, 3, 4 this one for B 2. Similarly, other one is minus 0 0.89. So, we can say this side is beta m and this is B factor B. Okay. Now, what will be the tau beta L m? Tau beta L m how do you compute? 
So, how many how many L equal to 1, 2, 3, M small m equal to 1, 2, 3. So, your combination will be 9 combinations. So, ultimately you will be getting a table like this where come suppose 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, then 3. So, what is required? What is this? Tau beta cap 1, 1, tau beta cap this is 1, 2, tau beta cap 1, 3 is coming, yes. So, similarly here tau beta cap 2, 1, tau beta cap 2, 2, tau beta cap 2, 3, then tau beta cap 3, 1, tau beta cap 3, 2, tau beta cap 3, 3. You require to find out all those values. Okay. Now, once you calculate this all those uh, that beta and other things, uh, then what is required to know? this is what is the error component. How do you calculate the error part then? Error part is epsilon i l okay? i l m what will be this one x i l m correct this minus a b bar l m. And in this case, the tau beta L m formula, I think this minus B m B m cap plus G. This is the formula we have used. Huh? This is the formula we have used. Okay. So, this formula you will be using. In, in Montgomery, it is given clearly. You go through. Montgomery this one design and analysis of experiments design and analysis of experiment DOE this a b l bar plus minus a l, a l bar minus b m bar plus g bar that is the formula we have used. So, <coughs> by this manner as now you will be able to compute that uh, errors also. Errors is x i l minus a b bar l m. So, a b bar l m you have already computed this is the a b bar l m. So, 67.67 now uh, what is x i l x 1 1 1 68. So, 68 minus this similarly 65 minus this 70 minus this in this manner you will calculate. So, that means the first three observation 68 minus a b l by 67.67 then 65 minus 67.67 then 70 minus 67.67. So, this one is I think point 0 no point 3 3 3 3 8 correct this one will be 65 minus 2.67 and this is 338 2.33 again you see that sum is 0 this sum is 0 ok. So, in this combination the parameter uh, x i l m bar l m bar all those things. Let me go to the case point 3 3 minus 2.67 plus 2.33. Okay. What do you will do with these errors? These are all errors because we have established earlier I think I am correct that the the your uh, predicted value is a b bar l m and actual value is x i l m. 
So, the error will be the actual value minus predicted value. So, in that sense this is correctly calculated. Okay. So, now what you will do with this error you have to go for model adequacy test. What are those model adequacy test? First one is you have to find out the normal probability plot. I have given you the formula how to go about in first class. So, then see it is almost in a straight line. So, we can say this is normal. Second one is you are seeing the ind independency of the observations. So, in order if you see ultimately residual versus observation order there is no relationship it is a haphazard random. Third one is do you want to check the covariant that variability across different um, that groups that le this level. So, here also you see you are not finding out um, much that the pattern almost it is basically not saying departure from equal variability. So, the adequacy part is also tested. Now, this is our sec 2 way ANOVA part. So, should I repeat again or it is ok? So, 2 way ANOVA part is you have 4 sources of error variation one is factor A, factor B, their interaction and error term random error. These 4 will make up the total sum square. You have to find out the degrees of freedom, test it. Once you test, you reject the hypothesis, then you go for parameter estimation, otherwise, no need of estimating the parameters. So, you use the parameter estimation following the rules given to you, hmm. except the other only one case that uh, tau, tau beta, this one, and this is the formula. We have computed almost all other parameters here, and you will be able to use this. So, now, you will know that what are the values of different parameters. So, are you inter not interested to find out whether a that tau 1 and tau 2 are different or not? Yes. So, first, first is your that computation of S S, then hypothesis testing correct. Then followed by what you will do, you will find you either you will reject hypothesis H 0. Once H 0 is rejected, then what you will do? You go for parameter estimation. By parameter estimation, what are the things we want to estimate here? That is grand mean, we want the tau L, we want the tau L so, grand mean we want, we want the tau L to estimated, beta M to estimated to be estimated, then tau beta L M to be estimated and also we want the error to be estimated, error to be estimated. Now, in earlier class we I have said that suppose there are tau 1, tau minus tau 2. So, you may be interested to compare which of the population or the factor effects are different and this one is nothing but a l bar minus a 1 bar minus a 2 bar. Can you remember this that two level mean difference what test you will use for confidence interval? Yes. So, expected value is what you are looking for that uh, your mu I think I can say if I say a 1 minus mu a 2 a for the factor and two different levels. Then what you require you also require to know that what will be the that a 1 bar minus a 2 bar that is the sample value minus then a 1 bar minus a 2 bar then plus some values where from you got this values. Okay. So, you can go for bone Ferroni method
Okay. You can go for morning I say the Taki method. If you use bone Ferroni method, ultimately you will be using T distribution and number of comparisons are there that to be the alpha value has to be adjusted or weighted using the number of comparisons. If you go for Taki method, you will be using the studentized range statistics, studentized range statistics. Okay. That is basically Q alpha number that where for what this is for factor A. So, number that is the number of labels in factor A, then what is the error degrees of freedom? Okay. This into MAC by N. So, here this one will come, this will come here, this will come here. Okay. We can see that what we have written earlier in one one factor case you see that q alpha a l m a c by n. Okay. So, we will follow this formulation. Similarly, you will go for beta m, you can go for tau beta l m and all those things. Then once these things are completed, you will be able to find out which are the Pop, which are the factor labels are different for factor A point of view, for factor B point of view, and you are more you will be more interested to know um, this one the interaction effect. How do you know the interaction effect? Basically, if I go back, for example, for example, what do you want to know? We want to know like this. Suppose this side is my B factor, this side is my A factor. So, how many levels are there for A? 3 levels A 1, A 2 and A 3. Now, B also having 3 levels. So, I will take the B 1 first. Correct. So, if I take B 1 first, if I go to this, this figure, you see if I come, if I, we, I, I will not consider these two, I will consider only B 1 fix, then A 1 value, A 2 value, A 3 value, these are the A B L M bar. So, instead of this, you will be plotting ultimately tau beta L M. So, this will be this plus this minus this minus this and then that value will be, you will be getting. So, you may get some value, uh, some value and ultimately you may get like this. So, this is for B 1, you may get a situation like this, this is with respect to B 2. When you get this type of cross section, intersection is there, then you will say that interaction is significant, there is interaction. So, in general, if I find like this, suppose two factors are going like this. Suppose this is my A and this is my B. So, let it be B 1 and B 2. If two factors plots are going like this, this is parallel, no interaction. And, and when there is interaction, you will be getting some cross, I mean this line will not be parallel. So, this is this shows interaction. Now, whether the interaction effect is significant or not, you have to use the statistical formula using using your bone peroni, using your even Taki test also will give you or simple the first level formula we will use. Okay. In Taki test, we will test the um, that we will test the hypothesis, the difference is significant or not. Okay. So, this so that means ultimately where we are standing now you know the interactions are also known and then after that your work is that model adequacy testing. So, 
So, under model adequacy testing you will be doing normality test, then independence independent observation test, then your equal variance test. Okay. Now, you will be doing all those tests from error data, error and fitted values wherever required. And please also remember that it is always advisable that when you get a data set better remove outlier, remove outliers before fitting to models you remove outliers then you also test their normal normality of the data normality you test also you can test the go you go for Bartlett test for Bartlett test for equal variance equal variance. So, these are the first thing you will do then you fit the model then you go for hypothesis testing parameter estimation interaction plots error all those things computation then finally, again you recheck with the error data that yes the assumptions are satisfied. Okay. So, this is what is two way ANOVA now we will go for another example explaining the three way ANOVA case. Okay. Here the read the problem in order to evaluate the safety performance of employees in a coal mine this study it is a real case we have done it, uh, um, but here I am showing you the partial results because I have not taken all the variables only a few variables I have taken here. Literature suggests that occupation age and experience of workers play a significant role. In an exploratory study we investigated the influence of these three factors on safety performance measured on a 100 point scale. The variables with categories are given below. What we have occupation there are in mind that loader is a very dangerous group prone to accident because of the many reasons particularly the hazardous working condition point of view and non loader mean other than loader they all are non loader. Then age we have categorized into two groups we are saying that less than equal to mean age is group 1 and greater than mean age is group 2 this is abrupt breaking of the age it is it can be better um, broken for example, young middle old like this, but here to show to demonstrate the applicability of 3 way ANOVA we have reduced this one. Similarly, experience also we have categorized into two groups less than mean years of experience and greater than mean year of experience. And this is a standard proceed, uh, process also many a times we categorize continuous variable or dichotomize basically continuous variable under less than mean greater than mean conditions less than equal to mean greater than equal to mean. Then the response variable here is safety performance which is which was given by a safety supervisor basically who observed the people that he over the years he has rated that okay, this is his performance under 100 point scale. Then question the research questions here do the workers across job titles differ in their safety behavior? Do the workers in different age groups differ in their safety behavior? Do the workers in different experience group differ in their safety behavior? Are there any interactions among jobs title age or experience groups? Very vital, very significant questions these are. Because if we find out that there is difference across job titles, so the prevention action will be accordingly taken. If there is no difference across the job titles, it may so happen that the working conditions are not affecting, it may be something else is affecting or the all the working conditions are equal, equally hazardous if because the 
safety performance in the mind studied are not good in that sense. Okay, so, you can answer all those questions. So, if in order to answer this question, if I ask you what are the sources of variation, we have to use ANOVA. So, definitely you will say first is job title. Now. Okay. So, job title factor A, then second one is our age group. So, age groups that is your factor B, third one is experience group, this is your factor C. So, we have three factors each with two groups. We are saying it three way ANOVA because three factors are considered. So, if I say that what are the sources of variation, then you can write here the sources each first is factor A, then factor B, then factor C, interaction AB, interaction AC, interaction BC, and error. Is it problematic? Very simple. So, this is the beauty of ANOVA. ANOVA is not conceptually uh, that difficult, it is easy to easy to understand also. So, SS you will be calculating SSA, SSB, SSC, SSAB, SSAC, SSBC, and SSE. Then definitely the last one is SSA, that is the total one. So, your degrees of freedom you write down, then you write down that MS, you write down F. Getting me? We have taken two groups at each of the variables having two levels. So, 2 minus 1, 1, again 2 minus 1, 1. 2 minus 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, B, C, 1, there is one more er sources of variation that is what? A, B, C, 3 way interaction. So, that all also will become 1 and, and what is the what is the number of it all depends on the number of observations you will be taking that n minus whatever degrees of freedom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 that will be uh, n minus 7, n minus 1 will be the total. So, n minus total minus 7, the n minus 8, n minus 8 will be the error degrees of freedom. So, you will be finding out m s accordingly, then for every, every factor you will be finding out the a value and you have to see that whether there is difference or not. Okay. Let us see that uh, the study. Now, we have take a uh, these are the basically the group group and there are 300 observations. So, total observation is 300. Okay. Now, see the observations that job title wise this is basically the category wise and x wise I we have given. Suppose uh, what I mean to say load R less than 37.3 years of age and experience less than 14.58, these are the mean age and mean experience value 93. So, the distribution is very skewed, you see only two observation available to in this combination load R less than 37.34 years of age and greater than 14.5 years of experience, this is this, this is quite obvious quite obvious, but this low value de definitely distort the total um, authenticity of the um, estimation. Okay. Now, this is one concern, another concern is this is 5, only 5, but 5 and more we consider acceptable. So, only this portion is difficulty, but other cases there are uh, reasonably good amount of observations available. Okay, in reality, this is a big problem. When you go for real study, then you will find out this type of problem. So, what will be the 
alternative for to avoid this problem your study design must be good enough what do you mean by study design before collecting data if you know that okay this is my this is my structure now you have to know in your system for in this particular combination how many people are working sim all combination what is the present level of people or number of people working getting me so then you randomize based on this what i mean to say suppose my first combination there are n one people working or i can say that capital n one people working second condition n two working third condition like this n three working so then you will sample n one from first n two from second n three from third in such a manner that there will be frequency matching but in no case so one issue is frequency matching so if i know that in reality there is not only few very few people are working in this group so this is not a good group but anyhow what we have, have happened we have first collected the data and later on we have seen and that's why this problem is occurred this problem will occur to you also if you do not do the study design correctly what i have discussed in first class study design anyhow with this data we have x we have done the anova analysis this is three way anova you see ssa ssb ssc ssab sssc ssbc ssabc sse and sst so these many sources of variations and these are the the sum square 519.07 coming from factor a that is the occupation or job title in this case then 120.51 is contributed by age 585.10 is contributed by experience the job title versus age interaction contributing very less 10.27 but job title bishabish your experience there is large amount contribution is there then your age versus experience interactions the value is 274.76 but the three factor interaction case the sum square is very very less 2.93 and that there is a large amount of what is this the error ka error one very large and SST will be ultimately that some total of all those will be the SST, and as I told you, there are 300 workers. So 300 minus one, this is the degrees of freedom for this, and everywhere we are getting one degrees of freedom for all the other sources. So error term is 292, that degrees of freedom, and the in the usual manner, you have computed MS, and you have computed F. Interestingly you find out that none of the factors are significant getting me so far what i have shown you i have shown you that yes there are some factors significant some interaction effects also significant but here what happened we found out that hypothesis testing is saying that none of the factors contributing then what you will do ends your work ends here what is the point in carrying forward it is no not required so why this has happened because there may be two three reasons one of the reasons could be that the the variables you have chosen they are not contributing second one i showed you that the study design might have been wrong so concept literature says there must be difference for example the particularly the young versus old workers the less experienced versus the uh, more experienced workers this literature says but literature is not says that uh, that the less than equal to mean and greater than equal to mean year of experience or mean years of age that may not be distinguishing this one. So, if we go for different categorization, it will give you, it may give you better result. So, this 
So, ANOVA as a technique fine this is one way you are doing, but when you come to this type of situation please remember I am now stressing it because we are now entering into the modeling part ANOVA, MANOVA these are all models then multiple degradation will be another model. Okay. So, that is why what is our conclusion there are no differences this is for the three way ANOVA part in safety performance across job title age and the researcher needs to redesign the study with other relevant variables. Okay. So, I hope that now for three way or for more way ANOVA this is unbalanced case. What is the balanced and unbalanced case? Balanced means the equal sample size, unbalanced means across different groups there are different sample size. Okay. So, our factor A, so when you are making them different groups sample size are different, similarly factor B that may be different, similarly your factor C that may be different. When they are equal that is known as balanced ANOVA, when they are different that is known as unbalanced. And unbalanced ANOVA is problematic because you will find out one of the issue will be that equality of equality of error uh, your population variance level variances level variances it is most of the time from real data you if you find you will find out that there is difference hmm. any question related to this so thank you very much and the next class I will show you one case study on MANOVA. So far ANOVA I think we have done enough um, discussion and MANOVA case study is the second the next class topic MANOVA case study. Okay, thank you.